My girlfriend thinks I'm a pedophile and it kills me. A few days ago, my girlfriend and I were doing okay. We were all cuddly and happy. I had just gotten out of work and went to get her in another town to go back home and get my seven-year-old stepdaughter from school. As we were waiting in front of the school, she radically changed and seemed sad, angry, and ignored me. I kept asking her what was wrong and if I did anything wrong, but nothing. She does these kinds of things quite regularly, so coming home, I left her in peace and she stayed in her daughter's bed all night, even refusing to eat. I didn't think much of it that maybe she'll tell me tomorrow. My wife has been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and she takes the medication, so I proceeded to rest from my workday. So the next morning, I go to work and receive lots and lots and lots of messages from her that she wouldn't be at home tonight but at her parents' place, some saying that I didn't leave her money for buying groceries, some saying I was still thinking about my ex, which is not true, some saying that she had cleaned the whole house, that I had apparently made a mess the night before making food for my stepdaughter, which again is not true. I cleaned the dishes and the kitchen counter. Some messages were saying I had apparently used her to forget about my ex, some that I didn't love her, but then what she said effed me up. The reason she was mad and ignored me the night before is because she thinks me and a girl were making eye contact and liking each other and apparently it dates back a year ago. The problem you see is this girl is 15 and I'm 27. She kept saying I knew what she was talking about but I didn't. I kept telling her she made absolutely no sense and that it hurt me that she was saying I was a pedophile and that she couldn't be serious. The psychological toll of these kinds of accusations coming from the one you love have a huge impact. I'm absolutely broken. I didn't deserve that. I was a happy man and she ruined it again for God knows what effing reason. I told her she was a lunatic and ignored her. The night she sent me a message saying she missed me. The next day she asked me if I wanted to see her parents and get her home after my work. Then she said she loved me and I don't understand this woman. At night, when I sleep on the couch, she comes and gives me a kiss goodnight, saying she misses me and loves me, but the next day she ignores me. It's been three days. I've been suffering a lot and I expect her to apologize or say something that would prove she doesn't think of me like this, but nothing. No apologies. She won't even talk to me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on in her mind. Is she waiting for me to apologize? What on earth is happening? Now, here's what the people had to say. Sounds like she needs some serious professional help, and I agree, it looks like she needs help. Someone else said, I'd be worried about getting her help though. Most licensed professionals are also mandatory reporters, and if she's good enough at manipulating people, well, you've got a mandatory reporter who is now obligated to make a report. Someone else said, for allegedly making eye contact with a 15-year-old, and then someone said, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't worry about this part. Ideally, a professional could sort a bit of fact from fiction if she truly is in psychosis as OP seems to be describing. Someone else said, yeah, that would be ideal. My ex was like this though and refused to get any help even though she knew it was a problem. Now guys, tell me what you think about this whole situation in the comments. This is a reminder for you guys to subscribe and hit the like button. Am I the asshole for ruining my boyfriend's favorite hiking trail? I'm 22 female. My boyfriend, 24 male, is an avid outdoors man. He grew up camping and hiking often. I, on the other hand, did not. I went on a camping trip once when I was a kid and sat in my grandpa's RV pouting the entire time. My boyfriend and I have now been dating for six months and as our little anniversary present, my boyfriend wanted to take me to his favorite hiking spot. We live in a warmer state, so hiking this time of the year isn't abnormal. I was a little nervous about it but agreed because I definitely see him as the person I'm gonna marry which means adapting to his lifestyle as well. So we went on a sunrise hike up a mountain that was a little over an hour away from us. The hike was just over 3 miles total and wasn't too difficult for beginners. Before going, my boyfriend gave me the safety rundown and pushed that I drink a ton of water. When we got to the trailhead, I needed to pee slightly and mentioned to my boyfriend finding the bathroom at the beginning of the trailhead, which I believe just to be around the little hill. He brushed it off though and suggested we get going so we don't miss the most beautiful part of the sunrise, so I agreed. During the first half of the hike, my boyfriend kept pushing me to drink water to the point where I felt like I was gonna throw up and my bladder was gonna explode. When we get to the best part of the hike, we sat there for a few minutes before I mentioned headed back down because at this point, I really needed to find that bathroom. My boyfriend insisted we stay for a few more minutes until I finally dragged him up. Listen, I've never peed outside my entire life. 
But I must have drank so much water, my bladder just couldn't take it. Before we even made it back down, I knew I was about to pee my pants. I kept mentioning it to my boyfriend and he kept comforting me saying it was okay, I was gonna make it. Unfortunately, I could not make it. I apologized, but I told him I had to duck behind a big rock a little ways off the trailhead to pee or I was gonna pee my pants. He was angry and scoffed and huffed as I told him to stand. Unfortunately, I could not make it. I apologized but told him I had to duck behind a big rock a little ways off the trailhead to pee or I was gonna pee my pants. Now he was angry, scoffed and huffed as I told him to stand watch but instead he just stood by the trail angry as ever. And to make matters worse, an older couple was cutting through some of the bush and walked right by me but didn't say anything. So yeah, my boyfriend is understandably pretty furious with me, not only for exposing myself on our hike, but also for rushing our beautiful view. This is his favorite hiking spot and I ruined it. I feel terrible, but I also feel like it was something I could not control. So am I the asshole here? You're not the asshole. He is being absolutely ridiculous. People pee outside while hiking and camping all the time. He dismissed you saying you needed to go. This whole situation is a big red flag. Someone else said, yep, your boyfriend isn't understandably furious. Your boyfriend disregarded your feelings and bodily functions the whole hike and acted like an asshole. Then, after being a dick the whole day, found a way to make this about you being wrong and he being a victim. Hope you didn't hurt yourself climbing over all those red flags. Someone else said, also red flag, that their anniversary present was an activity only he loves, and OP clearly does not partake in or even especially want to be by the sounds of it. Nor should she, but it's telling that he insisted on an activity that he enjoys and and then irrationally and aggressively berated her during it for having human bodily function. Heavens, what would he be like in an actual crisis of any kind that inconveniences him? Quite alarming, really. Someone else said, I like to hike casually, but in my experience, people really involved in either hiking or climbing have little tolerance for partners who don't enjoy it. My not liking rock climbing is what ultimately led to my ex breaking up with me because me tagging along and watching wasn't enough and his friends thought it was weird he'd date someone who didn't care about his interests, even though I went to all of his events and tagged along on the trail all the time. Now guys, tell me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments. Also, OP did comment saying that she is gonna break up with him, which is a huge relief. That is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy it, like the video and comment your favorite part or a part that you don't actually agree with. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.